Hi, I, am, I optimize the flow of information from the user to computer systems. So the first system uh, I developed uh, was called, we call academically the gesture keyboard, and it enables users to efficiently write text on mobile touchscreen phones by simply sliding your finger across the keyboard. So to write the word the, for example, you touch the T key, slide to the H key, slide to the E key, and then lift up your finger. And what this gesture does, what a gesture keyboard does is to encode this uh, gest tra trace on the touchscreen keyboard as an efficient uh, gesture shorthand. And a gesture keyboard creates hundreds of thousands of these gesture shorthands for hundreds of thousands of, of words. And we, the first system I built was in 2001, and the first public release was in 2004, when we released the first gesture keyboard known as IBM Shark for tablet PC. In 2007, we co -founded, uh, I co-founded ShapeWriter Inc., and we released uh, one of the first iPhone apps called the ShapeWriter Writing Pad app. And it had a million downloads within the first few months, and it was ranked uh, by Time Magazine as a top 10 iPhone app. Uh, uh, in 2010, our company was acquired by Nuance, and today the gesture keyboard technology is actually available by default on all Android phones. It's known as gesture typing. It's also known under other products using the same ID, such as Swipe, T9 Trace, and for example, uh, SwiftKey. So, two observations led to the invention of the gesture keyboard. The first observation is that typing on a touchscreen keyboard using a single finger is just a bad, bad idea. If you think about it, a touchscreen keyboard is really a graphical user interface in the extreme. There are buttons everywhere, and the user is tasked with a whack-a-mole game of basically whacking each key in rapid succession. So a gesture keyboard instead is inspired by shorthand writing systems, such as the Pittman and Gregg shorthand writing system, and the, and the way we can express ourselves fluently when we, uh, for example, write with a pen or a single finger. Today, uh, I'm working beyond the gesture keyboard and trying to lever all kinds of contextual sensor data to enable people to write fluidly, levering our whole bodies to be able to, for example, efficiently and flexibly input information by mixing speech signals, in-air gestures, and eye gaze to enable people who are situation impaired or people with motor disabilities to efficiently enter text. So one, one particular area I've been particularly interested in is AAC devices that enable people with severe uh, motor disabil disabilities to communicate. But I think the technology we're doing now can really redefine the way we think about our writing systems, because it's easy to forget that writing systems enable us to do uh, <clears throat> Uh, that, that our writing systems basically enable us to articulate information in so many different ways. And I'm Perola Christensen, and I'm a lecturer at the University of St. Andrews. Mm -hmm.